Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today I'm going to be playing with the two new palettes from Musée Beauty's Rococo line. They expanded it even more and added two more palettes and I'm super excited about this. I love their nine pan format. I mean, I'm a nine pan palette lover. That's my sweet spot. That's my favorite. So I was really excited to see two new nine pans from the brand. In this video, I do do a look with each palette. So you're getting two looks in this video. I'm going to do swatches, chat about the palette, all that good stuff. In theory, I want to do Instagram videos with both of these. So hopefully that will be soon. Um, if you need additional inspiration, that'll be coming. Musée Beauty did send me both of these palettes and I'm so appreciative. Thank you so much. But this video is not sponsored. I'm doing it on my own free will. I do, however, have an affiliate code with the brand. If you use my code ButteBean, it will save you 10% on their site. I do make a small commission if you use it, and I appreciate it so much, but no pressure. Anyways, we're going to hop into it, break down the palettes, do swatches, do the looks. I do give my jewelry details in the looks that you see, so just stay tuned. I will give those details. Um, yeah, with all that being said, let's just hop in, and we will chat about the palettes. The first palette is the Honoré palette. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. I did look it up and I tried my best. <laughs> it's such a cute color story. We just have these very kind of muted garden tones is what it makes me think of. We have really pretty dusty pinks. I like the green and blue in there. We have this nice berry. We have that golden sunflower yellow. It's a really appealing palette to the eye. I think it's really pretty. We have four mattes and five shimmers. I really like Musée Beauty's formulas. The mattes blend really nicely and they build up super easily and softly. So they're very beginner friendly in my opinion. And the shimmers are very wet looking and soft. Not glitzy, sparkly, but just very soft and wet looking. And I think it always looks looks really just put together and lovely on the eyes. And the next one is the Triumph of Venus palette. I mean, the artwork on both of these is just so gorgeous. And the inside is to die for. I can already tell you it's one of my favorite color stories they've come out with. I really like these smoky blues. We have the two pops of orangey down here. And I'm just, I'm really feeling this color combination. The cool tones send my soul. There are five mattes in this palette and four shimmers. And I'm just really vibing with this one. It's really cute. I do like this first palette. Don't get me wrong, but this color story has my soul right now. I'm really pumped about these. I'm excited about doing these looks. I'm glad I had time to film both of these. I know this video came a little bit later because I did the two looks, but I figured I should just right out the bat give a look with both of them in one video instead of procrastinating it. So hopefully this is good for you. I hope you enjoy it. I guess I've said it all though. So let's just hop in and do the looks. Hi, hello. Let's film this first look with the Honoré palette. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm sure the pronunciation police are going to come after me, but I tried. I looked up so many pronunciations and some were different, but that one was the most consistent. Um, I'm really excited. I want to do kind of a half blue, half pink look, and I think I'm going to add some glitter into this look as well because I'm just feeling that today. Um, but first, let me give you my jewelry details. Uh, this necklace is from Ana Luisa. My earrings are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy, and this is a CC brand beanie. Uh, so yeah, let me just go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm going to use the Smashbox lid primer in light, and I'm going to slap it on and blend it out and I'm not going to set it because I don't prefer to do that. So I'm going to start by taking the rouge shade down here and I'm going to kind of pack it on the first half of my lid and start blending it through the crease a little bit but not too crazy. I'm going to take that on this ColourPop E23 brush just so I can really pat it and then also blend because it's kind of a tapered blending brush. All right, just like this. I'm so excited to be playing with these palettes. When they emailed me about their launch before they announced it on Instagram, it was only like a couple days before, I haven't known this information for a long time, uh, I was so excited when I saw the pictures. I was like, yes please, I want to try those, thank you so much. So yeah, I'm just kind of packing it right here in the front part of my lid, and then just lightly dusting it through this front part of my crease. And now I'm going to take the bluff shade, the lighter pink, I'm taking that on this ColourPop E2 brush. And I'm going to do just a little bit of extra blending on these edges. I'm using very light pressure. I don't want this to go all over the place or anything. I just want to help soften that darker pink just a teensy bit more. Kind of sort of something like that. <laughs> and now I'm going to take Love Letter. I really like the names of these shades. It's very cute. I'm going to take that on this small angled brush from Luxie. It's a 131. And I am just going to really focus it on this whole outer half. And I do want to wing it out a little bit. I'm actually going to start with the bottom part of my lower lash line and the outer half just so I can kind of roughly trace out where 
my eye wants to angle out. You know what I mean? Just gonna very lightly sketch that, draw that into the pink area a little bit, just so I have this rough shape going on. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and fill it in. I'm gonna be a little more gentle once I get to this middle area because I wanna be able to blend the blue and pink together nicely. And I'd rather keep the blue closer to this side because it is gonna transfer over when I blend anyway. I don't wanna accidentally make this blue take over my entire pink front. Kinda sorta something like that. I'm gonna take this OMFG blending brush. I don't know the name of it, it's the OM20. I'm just gonna take the teensiest bit more of Love Letter and I'm gonna tap it out. And using very, very light pressure, I'm just going to softly diffuse the edge a little bit more. I do want that angled shape to stay there, but I just want a little bit softer of a version of it. Ooh, I'm already liking this and I can't wait to add some glitter. It's gonna be so cute. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit more rouge now on that first ColourPop brush and I'm just going to very lightly just start tapping right where the blue and pink meets. Just doing a little bit of mushing. I'll kind of just dip back into it as I see fit. And I wanna start with the pink because again, that blue is darker. It's gonna transfer over a little bit anyway. So I'd rather start with the lighter shade and then add the darker as necessary. It's harder to go backwards. And now I'm gonna take some more love letter and just kind of swish back and forth between the two again. And it's sort of something like that until I get a nice little diffusion between the pink and the blue. Very cute. I just jammed my whole nail in this garden shade. That's so unfortunate. All right, I'm gonna take this shimmery, plummy, mauvey shade. I'm gonna take that on this little angled flat pencil brush from Luxie, the 111. And I want to use that right in the front part of my lower lash line just to add some shimmer. I wanna complete this look with just shadows first so you can see what it would look like without adding the extra glitter. So I know not everyone wants to add extra glitter. And then for the inner corner, I think I'm gonna take Stolen Kiss. I think this little baby pink shimmer would be really cute. So I'm just gonna pop that right there in the inner part of my eye. Yeah, this is really, really pretty on its own. So if you are following along and wanna recreate it, you could totally stop here. I absolutely would stop here. I'm just itching to add a little bit of glitter. So I'm gonna dip into this Sprinkles Quad, the Rainbow Sprinkles Pressed Glitter Palette from ColourPop. And I wanna use the purple one and just add a little bit of glitter throughout the blue half. Cause I really like a glittery outer corner. I've been doing it for years. I'm just gonna take this Dual Ended Urban Decay brush and I'm gonna use this flat side. And I'm just going to lightly start pressing this glitter out here. Just to add a little something extra. Just grabbing little bits at a time. And I'm trying to keep this focus just in that blue shape. Kind of, sort of, something like that. I think that's really pretty. It just adds a little extra something, you know? Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it. I'm going to recreate this on the other eye, throw on my lashes and eye pencil and something on my lips. And then this first look with the Honoré palette will be complete. All right, this is my look with the Honoré palette complete. I think it's really pretty. Very simple, just kind of two-toned eyeshadow look. Uh, I like the little addition of glitter, but it was really pretty without it again. So you could totally do whatever you want. Obviously, I'm not the boss of you. Um, I like it, I think it's pretty. I'm excited to play with the other palette now. The eye pencil I threw in is Raindrops from ColourPop, just to kind of complement that shimmery lower lash line. My lashes are from Salem Cosmetics. These are the Yubaba lashes. Um, I just wanted small ones today because I'm gonna wear glasses, so can't really wear large lashes and glasses at the same time. And let's see my lip combo. I also used a lip liner from Salem Cosmetics. This is the Umi lip liner with the Urban Decay Name Drop Plumping Shine Balm. So yeah, this is the first look of this video. Let me go ahead and move on to look number two. All right, look number two with the Triumph of Venus palette. It's very pretty. I'm definitely gonna do something smoky blue today because I just can't resist. That would be so cute with this palette. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me just give you my details first. My earrings are Spooky Doodle Club. So cute and you can't see it now, but this little cat necklace is 5,000 years old. I don't know where it's from. So let's just dive into some makeup. I'm gonna prime with the Smashbox Lid Primer in Light again. I'm gonna blend it out and I'm not gonna set it. You know the deal with that. So I wanna start with this shade Tempestuous, 
I hope I'm saying that right, this blue shade right here. I'm gonna take that on this kind of longer, fluffy pencil brush almost from Odin's Eye, it's the FR2. And I'm gonna focus that in my crease, of course. I do want this look to be fairly rounded, but I will put a little bit of extra emphasis in the outer corner. This color, wow, that's beautiful. What a beautiful shade, oh my gosh. Let's do some smoking on the lower lash line. I hope you're doing well. I don't know if I asked if you're doing well in the first look, so I hope you're doing well. <laughs> All right, let's take shallow now and start blending out that color. I'm gonna take that on this Alter Ego number six brush. It's just kind of like a longer, little fluffier brush than the one I used previously. And I'm just going to just keep it pretty focused right on the edge where I laid down that first shade. I don't think this shade is really gonna show up a ton as far as being its own color. I think it's more so just gonna help diffuse that first shade. This is just such a pastel sheer shade. Maybe if you really packed it on your lid or something with a white base, it would show up more, but I think it's mostly gonna be best used as just a blending shade. Oh yeah, that's working really nice. Oh, I really like this color on my eyes. That's really pretty. Okay, so now I wanna take depth and really start adding some depth <laughs> in the outer corner and lower lash line. I'm gonna take this ColourPop E28 brush, just a little itty bitty pencil brush, and I'm just gonna pop it in my outer V, kind of right there, and on my lower lash line for some extra smokiness. Just keeping it really tight and close to that lower lash line. I love a smoky blue look. I think it's so incredibly pretty. All right, I'm gonna take that first blue shade that we used, this one over here. That was the most awkward way I could have ever held that. On that first Odin's Eye brush. And I'm holding the very edge of my brush that I'm using very light pressure. And I'm just gonna go to town along the edge, just getting it nice and diffused. Oh, I'm loving this. Pretty sure I'm liking this palette more than the first one. I wasn't sure which one I was gonna like more. I think I'm vibing with this one. Well, this shape is exactly what I was going for. I wanted something very blown out, but still a little bit winged out here. Ooh, that's so pretty. Quite happy with that. Okay, so for the lid, I'm just gonna pack one shadow all over, but I do wanna still lay down my NYX glitter primer right here. I'm gonna take this ColourPop E7. It's just like a dense packing brush. I'm just gonna put a little bloop of it right there. And I'm just going to smear this all across the lid. And then I want to dip into Storm right here, this beautiful, like, almost pewter shade. It's really pretty. And I want this just all over the lid. Oh, yes. I really like Musée Beauty's shimmers. I've said it before and I'll say it again. They're not incredibly, like, glitzy, glittery or anything like that, but they're just very wet looking, and I really appreciate that. Gonna take my little brush I used with that first shadow, no additional product, just to blend and diffuse the edges. Ooh, I'm really liking that. It's just very soft and cool toned, smoky, sultry. I'm gonna take another pencil brush, however, and I really wanna take Tide and smoke a little of this in the front part of my lower lash line. This is just an Alter Ego number seven. It's just a pencil brush. I wanna pop that right here in the first little third of my eye. Oh, I like the tone of that. It's more of like a cross between a true blue and a tealy blue, leaning more true blue. But next to the cool toned, almost periwinkle blues, it's just such a pretty pop right there. And for the inner corner, I think sea foam would be really, really pretty. Obviously, beam would look good. I mean, that's super appropriate for an inner corner highlight. But I really want this baby blue. Oh, yes, that's exactly what I needed. Ooh, that's so pretty. I love this look. And it was so simple to get here too. Potentially my favorite palette from Muse Beauty so far, either this or the Van Gogh. I just, I really like how everything is coming together. Um, I'm gonna repeat it on the other eye. Throw my lashes, eye pencil, something on my lips, and I'll be back to finish this look. All right, my look with the Triumph of Venus palette is complete. I love this look. I love it with my whole heart. I think it's so, so stinking cute. So yeah, there's that successful makeup day. The eye pencil I threw in is called Chill Blue from NYX. I just thought it would go nicely with our 
icy blue situation we got going on and I really like it. My lashes are these same Yubaba lashes from Salem Cosmetics and then my lip combo is the Pitch Lip Pencil from ColourPop with the Rare Beauty Appreciate Balm. I really like browns and blues together, so that's what I was feeling like doing today. So yeah, this is the second look. Um, let me zoom out and I will give you my thoughts so far on both of these palettes. All right, so that was it. Which look was your favorite? I really did like that first look a lot. I really liked that pink-blue combination. I liked the addition of glitter, but I just love this look. Something about these smoky blues right now it makes me so happy, so I think I have to give the winner to this look, but I did like that first one a lot. I would love to know which of these two palettes you're vibing with more. Are you liking more of this pinky greeny blue moment? Are you liking these smoky blues? It's really hard. I do like this one the most, I think, but this one's this one's high up there. I just really like their nine pans. I feel like Musée Beauty could just like do away with the large palette and only do nine pans going forward and I'd be really happy. I will say I want them to get away from this box style palette. It's just a little too bulky for me. I like their sleeker ones more, um, but that's really my only criticism so far. Again, I still need to keep playing with them. I haven't played with every single shade, but I'm pretty familiar with their formula as of this moment, so I like them. I am gonna do Instagram videos as soon as I can, so just stay tuned. I would love to know what you're thinking. Did you already pick these up? Do you wanna pick either of them up? Have you tried this brand before? I wanna hear it all down below. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave me a blue emoji since I'm swooning over these blues? And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean, follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.